Well, Cheryl, it's one thing that Drandon Johnson proved tonight besides winning a mayoral election. He certainly knows how to give a speech. I think you mentioned it earlier, as certainly as a son of a preacher and a grandson of a preacher, it almost sounded like a sermon. He made, talked about that tonight proves that the civil rights and labor rights movement has finally won. He said that this is a government that truly belongs to the city of Chicago. He also ended his speech by saying this is a time to celebrate the revival and the resurrection of the city of of Chicago. This really is truly a remarkable win given the fact that about six months ago no one even really knew who Brandon Johnson was. He always liked to talk about how the fact that he was only polling at about 2% back in October. Obviously did not do this alone, did it with a lot of help, especially from the Chicago Teachers Union. They gave him about $2.3 million. They also provided an incredibly huge ground game. Before his speech tonight, he was introduced by CTU President Stacey Davis Gates, um, and she also spoke a lot about this kind of um, some of the same issues that Johnson spoke about during the campaign about affordable housing for people, trying to finally invest in the south and west sides and mental health, a lot of those type of social issues um, that the union has been talking about and certainly Johnson has been talking about during his entire campaign. Again, big victory for mayor for mayor elect Brandon Johnson tonight. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.